Hey guys, Aaron Ferris here, Don K. Whitefish, nestled in beautiful Northwest Montana. As you probably saw, we're surrounded by some beautiful country, a lot of mountains, a lot of opportunity for off-roading. One of our best-selling vehicles here is the Jeep Wrangler. Now, I've personally been with Jeep since the 90s. I've seen the evolution of this vehicle. The, the accolades, we're not here so much to, to review the history of the car. Let's just say if you haven't had your hands on the 19 JL model Wrangler, you should run down to the dealership and take a test drive. A group of much smarter automotive journalists, uh, you might know Motor Trend, they've now rated this the Motor Trend SUV of the year. What we're really here to talk about today is the new engine, the two liter turbocharged e-assist four-cylinder made into an eight-speed transmission. Normally when you go and look at a vehicle the four-cylinder is your entry point. You pay more to get the bigger engine. We're actually pretty excited by this because it gives us a much more powerful engine, much more fuel economy, much better drive. So let's take a look at that engine. All right guys, so here we have the new engine. Now this is the two liter turbocharged mild hybrid e-assist. It's a giant mouthful, but let's talk about what that actually does for us. For those of you not familiar with turbocharging, by force feeding a little extra air into the engine, we're able to make more power, specifically more torque, much lower in the RPM band than the previous engine. So compared to our previous generation, the 3.6 liter Pentastar. We're down slightly on horsepower. However, we have a significant advantage in the torque department. The old engine was making 260 foot-pounds. This engine is now making 295 foot-pounds of torque. With peak torque coming on at only 3,000 RPM as compared to over 4,500 RPM on the older engine. What that does for us when we're out driving the vehicle, essentially I'm pushing the throttle less and getting more, and more is always good. So with a 48 volt battery, we have a regenerative e-assist system in place. So that is able to kick in on demand an extra 70 foot-pounds of torque. When I lift off the throttle and coast the vehicle or apply the brakes, we can also use that electric system to regeneratively capture energy that would normally be wasted. That then turns around, stores in the battery, so the next time I need to accelerate, it's there and available. Great for the wallet, considering that this vehicle now gets up to five miles per gallon better fuel economy than the old engine. This is the two-door Wrangler Rubicon. This is where we're getting into the top tier of off-road capability. Large tires, low gears, a lot of ground clearance. The Rubicon includes differential locks. It includes an electrically releasable sway bar up front. From the cabin, I can hit a button. We can take the back differential and lock it together. Then I can take the front differential and lock it together. Essentially, that's keeping my tires rolling, whether I have slippery surface, traction, or no traction. In an off-road scenario, I can then hit a button and allow that front intelligent sway bar to provide some flexibility, allowing the vehicle to ride better over the rough stuff. So guys, we could talk until we're blue in the face about what the technology is, but until you get in and experience it for yourself, it's really just talk. So let's go take a test drive. Very little pedal, ton of torque, and not a lot of noise. Very quiet ride. That e-assist system gives me almost instant throttle response. And with almost 300 foot-pounds on tap, this car downright scoots. So I can get more power, more efficiency, less environmental impact, and all of that is available for only $1,000 more. Divide that out into the typical monthly payment, and we're talking about $17. Seems like a pretty good deal to me. 